Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 20 of Let's Play Lux Invicta, the Invincible Light. I'm going to lead my men into glorious combat. And we're going to take over all of this guy's stuff. His stupid father's... This character's stupid father's daughter couldn't make babies, so... We decided to just attack. Oh, I accidentally retreated. Shoot. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Let's just rally through the entire army. Autosave has this tendency to cause me to misclick. There we go. Excellent. We've captured some guy. Let's ransom him right away so that we hopefully have enough money. Being negative is, is not desirable at all. General opinion minus 10, monthly authority down by 1. Not good. We only need a thousand men there. So we'll chase with just the retinue. Perfect. Let's see if we can capture the Duke himself. not going to take much to win this war. I have so, so many more men than he does. Plus, I'm a lunatic with tons of martial score, so he should be scared. Yeah, we'll just seize those four. I can't believe they're actually voting for my son. Second son, or whatever, another son, doesn't matter. We don't need him. We'll just call, you know, he's, he's the extra one. A concubine is pregnant. Excellent. Captured some woman. Nice. She's not worth anything to anybody. Unfortunately, executing her cost me authority, so let's not do that. I also don't want to lose my respected authority level, and we're too low. We need to get above a thousand respect, or authority, whatever it's called. Otherwise, that might drop down. And the other one, the Mercantile Disposition, can't upgrade. I think I'm going to turn off Siege Notifications, because I think we pretty much understand how that works now. Nothing's really different from Vanilla. And those pop-ups are kind of unnecessary. Unfortunately, we don't have enough men to siege the Bishopric, so let's just pile on to the next county. And... Up to 33%. His own personal holdings are just these two. I should probably siege that. Somebody else wants to seduce me. Fantastic. <laughs> he only has 800 men there or so. Excellent. 26 gold. Can we also press the ransom button? Yes. More prisoners. I love it. Prisoners make the world go round. actually has castle castles bishopric yeah we'll probably have to siege through most of his stuff but and you know what actually come to think of it I think since the the war goal is this this here I don't want to siege through our own stuff so let's actually switch gears now and just siege these two that are outside of the stuff that we're gonna gain and actually, he owns... Oh, Otto is hiring men for an attack against me. Huh. Apparently this funny man thinks he's being funny. No plot power. 50 gold to kill him. Otto... lives here. Barely affects assassination chance. Huh. All right, well, let's just not worry about it. So yeah, I'm going to spread out over these other three that he owns that are outside of the du jour borders of this thing. So these three. And how many men do we need here? Actually, all of them. Wow. Okay, let her rot. Yep. The warrior class is no longer openly respecting me. That's, that's what happens when you go below a thousand authority. 
But we're gaining a quite quite a good bit. 4.51 per month. My nubile concubines are helping out. That pagan opinion of gregarious and diligent is good. If only I were lustful. They don't like hedonism, apparently. Melancholic. This war is going to be awesome. I'm going to win. I just hope that it allows me to create the kingdom, because I, I do fit all the requisite requirements to make Bavaria. But it just won't let me. Countess is dead. We've inherited it, too. Uh, we'll choose my courtier, sure. And since we're over our domain limit, I guess we'll give that away to another guy. Like, say, this guy's got a lot, a lot of diplomacy. But we'll go with stewardship. Okay. That didn't take you very long. Good job. Targeted the wrong person, but still, good job. Hey, my son actually became age six. That's amazing. Obviously, I'll educate him myself. Just in case something fun happens with me being a lunatic and all. Another son, yay. I'm not too worried about having too many children anymore now that we're on elective. Look at that, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sons. And four daughters. I'm quite fertile, aren't I? Actually, almost to the point where we can get another point in uh, one of these texts. It's going to take a hundred. It's learning plus martial. Wow. No wonder we gained so much. 0.67 per month. There goes my son. They seem to die very often. Five prisoners, jeez. Ransom all. We have a lot of money all of a sudden. And that's after declaring that war. That's awesome. Time to build stuff. How about we do... I don't really know. Just build stuff. Build build things. I don't care. Build something. Something is better than nothing. Are you ready to surrender yet? I'll siege everything you own. Nice job. She actually improved relations with the Count. That's perfect. Now he doesn't hate me quite as much. Oh, it's him being ambitious that's really causing problems. Okay, so a couple more sieges finished, and we should be fine. He's actually taking that back. We can't siege anything else. That bishopric has too many men. A lot. So let's go take that, and then we'll go to Hamburg. You never know, it might even capture a count. Nope. Okay, Hamburg it is. And this town, actually, we can siege too. Excellent. No, we can't. Never mind. Maybe we can if we do that. The priest class no longer openly respect me. Again, unfortunate. But we're at 88%, so this war is almost over. And that'll give us enough uh, enough authority to bring it back up again. There goes another son. That, I mean, life is cruel in Lux Invicta. Children die constantly. You surrender. Yes, 450 authority, plus we gain all of that land. Yes. Excellent. We can create the Kingdom of Germania. Wonderful. It says negative 500 prestige. Let's see what that actually does. I have a feeling that it means that it will give me 500. Let's see. 
this will cost you negative 500 authority. No, it shouldn't say negative 500 then. It just costs us 500. Okay, so now we actually have Crown Law we can play with too. Cool. And this will this will happen automatically. Female marshals are forbidden. Military policy. At this level, the provision of levies is mostly dependent on the whims of the vassals themselves. Okay, minor. Whoa. Whoa, there's so much stuff. Economic policy. Just taxation. National build time goes down slightly. Control policy. Minor control. Moderate control. You can only increase control policy if we get up to devoted marshal, mercantile, and missionary. So we have to we have to get a lot of authority to, to try to raise control. But we could do like military policy or economic policy. But these appear to be crown laws, so I'm wondering if we can only change one in our lifetime. I'm kind of worried about kind of worried about doing this one and then not being able to do this one. So let's just not do it, because I think that this character is going to end up with 2,500 authority pretty quickly. We've fulfilled the ambition to become king. Excellent. Um, next up, let's take the ambition to become exalted among men. Oh, it's upgraded to 3,000. Damn. What can we gain that will give us a fair bit of authority? Become an emperor. Wow. Well, kids is something I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do. Let's do kids. And we can create other duchies. Alright, so my domain limit is... I'm currently still over my domain limit, even though I'm an emperor. Now would be a good time to probably try to get that uh, divine right, now that I'm a king. Alright, so let's get rid of this one. It's a pretty good holding, but it's far away, and I don't want it. We'll give you the holding, even though you're the wrong... No, he's not. He's furnished. No, he's Woodens. Yeah. Okay. We'll still give it to him anyway. He'll like me. And then we'll make him into our steward. And then we'll give him 20 gold. And then we'll demand that he converts. Implement. The warrior class now openly respect your authority. Women are forbidden from serving as marshals. Well, obviously. Allowed. They have to have at least 25 marshal to be able to lead. Huh. Okay, so now he's become a pretty loyal person to us. Despite the fact that I'm a lunatic. We'll rent some prisoners. Ooh, we can go on a hunt. I haven't done that in a long time. Let's do that. And now we need to also consider implementing, like, making some more duchies and actually getting rid of the duchies that we don't need. So I own, like, the Duchy of Bavaria, for instance. These people are all, I don't own anything over here. It would make sense to have a duke. Stressed kingdom administration has happened to us. Wow, it wants me to have potentially kingdom vassals now? Jesus. There's lots of penalties for having a big realm. Too many held duchies. Apparently you're only allowed to have one duchy in this game, jeez. Alright, fine, so, okay. Who do I like the most? You are a double count, I don't like that, but it is what it is. Bamberg is actually part of Franconia, which isn't created. Oh no, it is created. Oh, do I have three duchies? Oh, I have four duchies. Jesus. Okay, so you're allowed to have three duchies then. I see. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Settle. Alright, so... Let's make this guy a duke. 
because he already owns a, a fair bit of land. We'll make you into the Duke of that place. So now he owns this. We'll also make... I, I want to have a bunch of separate Dukes, actually. We just worked on this guy, so we'll make him the Duke of this... What? No, no, no. Thuringia is just... Just two counties. Why would you get them? Oh, because this guy owns all that. Interesting. Well, I don't want that. Brunswick hasn't been created, but I can. Creating it costs me authority. But I want it. I want it so that it's it's there. And I guess since this guy's fairly powerful, we'll just make him into the Duke of Brunswick. That's fine. So in that case, um, let's just make him a double Duke. It's fine. Weimar is part of Saxony, so that's why it's separate. So that guy's got all of that. I have this. This is part of my du jour duchy. Should be there. Good. Nuremberg is its own duchy. That's fine. And then there's a duchy down here, Bavaria, that I currently still control. We'll give it to you. Not you. My marshal. There we go. Pretty clean. This is part of Tyrol, which we don't control much of. Okay, now we just need to fill the council, so my steward's gone. We'll end up using, uh, my concubine hates me. Whatever. Just to do a good job. We do have better people available, but my wife doesn't like me. Outraged by a succession law change. We do want to get this person there, because he's better. Convert a county religion, 3% chance per year. Um, well, let's try doing it anyway. And I'm happy with my martial training troops in Ulm. Okay, awesome. We can still create one title. Uh, oh, we can create the empire. Excellent. We just happen to control the right land for, like, the empire. Whatever the heck. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, we only need to control 60%. We just need 400 gold. And we'll lose a thousand authority. But then we'll become an emperor. And hopefully we gain a bunch of authority for being a king. Held to kingdoms. Point one. Not much. Oh well, we can create an empire. Sweet. Okay, so that'll be the next goal. I'm going to take a break here and I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.